Hello guys, this is another video from Androidica and in this video we'll be comparing you know or you know reviewing how this phone performs uh, you know if you're using it as a daily driver. We have the Nokia Lumia 525 over here and if you want to check out our hardware review of this phone the link will be down below in the description. So it's a Nokia Lumia 525 and I've been using it for the last two days and the battery backup has been pretty good as you can see now uh, it shows 100% power and I have remaining 9 hours and 50 minutes now this actually this time actually changes on how you use a device so if you're like gaming a lot for a certain amount of time this time will decrease and however if you're like kept it on standby or just using it for calls and a few text messages this time will increase to around 22 hours so the first time I got it out of the box and charged it to 100% I had a remaining time of around 23 hours and 52 minutes so that's a lot of time I have been reviewing this device and for a long time right now so I don't have a lot of battery backup left never mind we'll just to start off with how this fa fares we'll just open up a few applications and quickly switch between them so that's we have the whatsapp we have the text messaging application okay and we have the phone okay and we will also open up uh, let's say office you know these are less personal apps easy to show up on the video okay so now like for multitasking we will just quickly just there you have all the open apps over there I have settings and other apps open so I'll quickly open up office then I'll just head over to phone directory okay I can open a whatsapp again Okay, and then I can go to messaging so there you can see there's nearly no lag around you know in performance or switching between apps just because this phone has a 1 gigahertz dual core processor powered by a 1 gigs of RAM so that's a lot of RAM to be played with right now and so we'll just open up a simple game and see how it performs okay so you definitely have to remember this is not an out of the box review I have you know I used it as a daily driver for two days and I have almost all the apps installed that I need and I use it on a daily basis like WhatsApp, Viber, Bigflix, Flipkart, this game uh, then we have uh, the normal browsing and the music applications so everything is running and the maps, air maps these are all running and then this is how the device performs this is not an out of the box review so this is not how the device would perform you know just out of the box because every device you know they are free at the point of time when you just bring it out of the device or bring it out of the box so definitely it will trip you know, perform much faster out there so we'll just play the first scene okay so pick it up As you can see there is really no lag out here, the graphics is smooth, I didn't try any high end games as of now like the Asphalt 8 and stuff, I guess I'll just do a save me and it will take me to purchase. So as you can see there is really no lag in gaming performances, you know even with so many apps running. To show how many apps we have running we'll just head over to our running apps tab. Let's cross that out. Okay. So we'll head over to settings and back. Okay. It just came out. We'll head over to settings and uh, background tasks. So there we have the battery application running, we have the Facebook, here Drive, Instagram, Task application, WhatsApp, YouTube, HD, Adidas Coach which I really block because I don't use it that much and App Social which is pretty much useless for me at least. So if we go to advanced it will just say that you know these are all the running applications as you can see and it says that I can't may, I may not can block all of them. So there's the stuff out there. So. I have so many applications running and the phone still runs smooth as you can see the transitions are smooth you know going off from the phone to 
the home screen the transitions are really smooth the batteries and everything is smooth so this device does perform well and Nokia really nailed it with this device so if you're looking for a 10k budget device and you your if you know going into the Windows operating system is not an you know problem for you or if you are not you know into Android or iOS that much and you want a budget device I think you should head over to Windows phones instead of the Android because budget Android devices are really lacky and they use MediaTek processors and stuff so if you want a good device and a snappier device with a better screen as you can see of 235 pixel density definitely go for the Lumia 525 it's available for around 9900 out in the Indian market you can also go for the Lumia 520 which has almost the similar specifications however in this device you have the 1 gigabytes of RAM which is easily worth 2000 bucks because it future proofs the phone for at least another two years from now this will be getting the Lumia Cyan update which is a Windows 8.1 upgrade in the near future so then you have the latest software updates easily all over your phone so thank you guys for watching and in the next videos or the next three series of videos I'll be talking about how you know how my experience was to transfer from the Android ecosystem right into the Windows ecosystem so keep watching and subscribe our channel for more